So what tracks do I want to see in Nickelodeon Kart Racers? I go do my list right now. Hello beautiful people, my name is RidersDX and welcome to my channel where I cover all sorts of things Sonic and Spongebob related. In this video, I'm going to go do my top 5 list of tracks that I want to see appear in Nickelodeon Kart Racers. I made a video earlier about what top 5 characters I want to see, so if you want to check that out, you can go ahead and click on the link in the top right corner or check it out at the end of this video. But yeah, I'm really excited about this game. I um, I don't have... A lot of confidence is going to be amazing just because with licensed games you always have to be a little bit cautious about the quality of the game so it's always smart to just keep your expectations low just due to reality you know but it looks like this game has a lot of potential to be good so I'm gonna be optimistic but I'm not gonna be overly like expecting it to be amazing because I don't think that's like realistic <laughs> but yeah if you all like this video then be sure to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these because i upload these videos every single week and go ahead and follow me on twitter if you want to reach out to me and talk about this game outside of youtube but enough dilly dallying if that is like an actual term i'm not sure but um let's get into the top five list At number 5, we're starting off our list with a lot of ice cream. I want to see Gooberland appear in the game. So what exactly is Gooberland, you ask? Well, just look at the clip right here. Like, um, Gooberland is basically this level in the Spongebob Squarepants movie game where Spongebob and Patrick are dreaming about being in, like, a world that's, like, all about Goofy Goober. So as you can see, there's, like, tons of candy around, like, all these really sweet, like, looking things. It's basically Candyland, except it's Goofy Goober, so it's Goofy Goober focused. And this just looks like it could be a really fun level in a kart racer. I mean, you could have sections of the level where you're um, driving through ice cream if you wanted to, or you could be like raining gumballs or something, you know, as like obstacles to avoid. I don't know, this level is so much fun in the actual Spongebob movie game, and I think it could be like just as fun if not more in Nickelodeon Kart Racers. It technically is like a racetrack in the actual movie game because it's not like a normal platforming level, it's a level where you drive the paddy wagon. So it's actually already built for like racing games, you know? Like there's a lot of things within that level that they could use in Nickelodeon Kart Racers. So I think it'd be relatively easy for them to make this into a kart racing level actually. Plus, it'd be really cool to just see some kind of representation from the Spongebob Squarepants movie because I think it's one of the best movies that Nickelodeon has released. And I know I'm really biased, but honestly, the movie has a really special place in my heart. And it'd just be so cool to see that movie represented in a game because I don't expect to see the movie like get referenced that much in video games. Like, maybe on a TV show or in movies, but like not in video games. So just to see a little piece of the Spongebob Squarepants movie appear in this game would be such a treat like it'd be so amazing <laughs> coming in at number four on my list is Tremorton I think that's how you say it if that's not how you say it then please let me know but basically is the city that my life as a teenage robot takes place in so for those of you who don't know my life as a teenage robot was a short-lived show on Nickelodeon about um, a teenage robot <laughs> it's really um not much different from the title, but basically it stars XJ9 who's also nicknamed Jenny and she's a robot made by um, Whoever the name of her mom is. I don't know for sure and basically Jenny spends her daytime um, Going to high school like a regular teenager and spends her free time battling aliens and robots that invade Tremorton So Tremorton has a lot of potential to be a really chaotic level because I think what they could do to make the level exciting is have lots of different aliens and robots attacking the town and making it kind of like a post-apocalyptic like scene, you know? Like it doesn't have to be absolutely dark and insane, but you could just have like explosions happening everywhere, aliens flying in your face, robots trying to shoot their lasers at you. It could be like a really exciting level. And you could also 
if Jenny is not a playable character, which to be honest, I feel like she's not going to be a playable character just because she's kind of just one of those forgotten Nickelodeon shows, which I'm really not happy about because it's one of my favorite shows to come out on Nickelodeon. So I can't believe they just gave it like three really short seasons because it should have gone on for so much longer in my honest opinion. But yeah, they could make this level like really exciting and one of the more epic tracks in the game. So that's an idea for your Nickelodeon if you want to take it. I've got lots of amazing ideas because I'm smart. 24. <laughs> Coming in at number 3, if you watched my last video on the top 5 characters I want to see in this game, you really shouldn't be surprised by this one. I want to see the Ghost Zone appear in the game. Well, first of all, Danny Phantom is just one of my favorite TV shows to ever come on Nickelodeon, definitely. Probably right below Spongebob. Danny Phantom has such an expansive world that you could work in, and one of the big reasons for that is the Ghost Zone. The Ghost Zone has so much potential to be this really cool and outrageous track in the game. Like, you could have a racetrack going through like all these different aspects of the ghost zone and you could have ghosts like flying in at you trying to attack you with like their various powers ha -ha! I am the Brax ghost you cannot hold me within the confines of a cylindrical container there's various landmarks in the zone like I think there's like a stadium for example they could go to and you could also like drive through like portals and doors within the zone and travel in and out of different subsets of the world so it really has the potential to be like a crazy insane level kind of just like Tremorton but in a different way because this is more like outrageous and more out there and more like supernatural kind of outrageous so I think this is a really great opportunity to take advantage of a world that's so like unlimited in its potential and yeah, I really want to see the ghost zone because I, I really want to see ghosts. I want to race against ghosts. I want to battle ghosts. I want to do everything with ghosts. Ex except actually become one because I like life. So I wouldn't want to become a ghost anytime soon. But um, that's actually a dark topic. So I'm just going to stop talking. Tee hee. <laughs> Okay, y'all, coming at number two, you're all gonna hate me, but honestly, my channel is literally about Sonic and SpongeBob stuff, so you really shouldn't be surprised by this choice. But I want to see another SpongeBob level in this game. More importantly, I want to see Rock Bottom appear in this game. Now, Rock Bottom is a really, really crazy place, one of the crazier places to appear in the SpongeBob franchise. I mean, I remember when I saw that first episode of Rock Bottom, and we saw all those like really weird creatures and like the weird ways that they spoke, the weird ways that they looked, and then you saw like all the weird signs everywhere. It's basically tips topsy-turvy, basically the opposite of normal. So Rock Bottom has the potential to be like a really weird stage, just really weird. And as you saw in Battle for Bikini Bottom, which you could check out my playthrough of, if you click on the link on the top right corner, Rock Bottom has a lot of potential and a lot of different areas that you could travel through on a racetrack, you know, because Rock Bottom apparently has a museum. It apparently also has an advanced trench of darkness that you could travel through. And there's also a bunch of different landmarks that they could invent and put in Rock Bottom if they wanted to. So Rock Bottom is a really dark place and I think this game needs a dark level. And what better franchise to get a dark level from than Spongebob Squarepants? Am I right? Because Spongebob is dark. Clearly. Careful Spongebob! Careful Spongebob! Spongebob! Careful! Careful Spongebob! Careful Spongebob! Careful Spongebob! Careful Spongebob! Careful Spongebob! Patrick, the lid's already off. Oh, now it's my turn! <laughs> okay, y'all, coming at number one on my list. This, like, is an obvious choice. I'd be surprised if you weren't thinking of this is a possible option in this game because this option is so obvious and so clear to me that this needs to be in the game. But that choice that I want to see at number one is Fairy World from the Fairly Odd Parents. 
So I talked about in my other video about how like I had mixed opinions on the actual show, but if there's one thing that I loved about the show, it was Fairy World. I love how colorful and magical Fairy World was. I loved seeing Timmy and Cosmo and Wanda go to Fairy World because there was always such a crazy, infectious design that came with Fairy World. And of course, I just loved the idea of seeing a bunch of fairies like hanging around a town, you know, because. Fairies are so cool. Like I, I remember when I was a kid, I actually would sit by the window and wish to have fairy godparents. <laughs> it's kind of silly thinking about it now, but fairies are just such a cool idea. And as a kid, like it's such an appealing thing. It's like, oh damn, if I had fairies, I'd wish for this. I wish for that. I wish for all this. And you know, I think being able to race through Fairy World in Nickelodeon kart races would be such an amazing treat. You know, it'd be a really colorful place. You'd have so many things you could have happen in the level just because magic is such a crazy and free concept. You know, you have so much diversity in what you could do with magic in a game. So I think the Fairy World could potentially be one of the craziest racetracks of all kart racer games if they put in the effort to make it that special. Now, will they do that? Um, probably not. But you know, even if they did half the potential that I was thinking about for this level, I think they would be sold on a really great track. Plus, who doesn't love fairies? I love fairies. <laughs> fairy Godparents! Admit it! You have fairy godparents! Have a nice day! But okay, everyone, that's it for my top five list of stages that I want to see in Nickelodeon Kart Racers. Let me know in the comment section below what levels you want to see appear in Nickelodeon Kart Racers. I'd love to hear all your opinions. We can talk about it in this video and also talk about it on Twitter if you wanted to. Just let me know in the comment section below what levels you want to see in this game. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these and you want to see more of these videos every single week because I upload them um, every single week. <laughs> Funny how that works. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter at RidersDX if you want to talk about this game with me outside of YouTube. But yeah, that is everything for this video. I'll catch you all next time. Riders DX is out. Bye bye